connection procedure. Here we have the connection successful. We hit the word continue. Okay. And now it asks us for the nickname of our printer. And it's whatever you want to call it. The default is fine. It says Lexmark uh, 6500 series. I'm going to go ahead and, and go ahead and put Lexmark 65. And it's a Lexmark 6570. So I'll put a 70 at the end of it. In case we have multiple printers, I'm going to put an X in front of it as well. An X6570 printer. Okay, and then I'm going to hit the word continue. So it just named my printer. It's uh, preparing the uh, preparing the printer. Obviously, it's a uh, it's now using the wireless connection to prepare the printer. It's setting it to Windows. It's still reading additional information off the CD now. And it asks us, do you want to set up the fax? Actually, uh, you can set up a fax, uh, which you, you will connect to your phone line. But uh, in this case here, we're going to hit no and hit continue. It says print a sample page. Now, remember that we've disconnected the hardwire to the printer. Now we're going to check for a sample page. So it says see the great printing results and we'll go ahead and uh, hit continue to print the sample page. Printing started. Very nice. It even talks to you. And here comes the sample page. Remember that we are doing this completely wirelessly. Um, don't just fold up the program again. Make sure you go through the complete, the complete process, installation process. That's very important. The sample page is coming out. Very nice. We see all the colors. Printing it complete. Still talking to you. In the different languages. Very nice. And we have a nice sample page. So here we go. Benefits include exclusive discount. Uh, it's talking about product registration at this time. I'm going to hit the word. Uh, if you want to register your product, you can uh, click that. If you're reinstalling it, don't, you don't have to re-register the product. And if you want to participate in the Lexmark uh, Connect uh, program, you can do so. I just uncheck both of them. Hit continue. To get the Lexmark toolbar, that's what I need is another toolbar on my uh, Internet Explorer. Um, I'm going to uncheck that. I don't know if Lexmark will appreciate me doing that, but uh, we'll hit continue. And it says, congratulations, you have now uh, installed your uh, Lexmark uh, 6500 series printer, and we're going to click Finish. Now, once again, uh, as with all hardware and, uh, and software or wired or wireless installations, I think it is very important to reboot your computer one more time before we actually do printing on it. So let's go ahead and before we actually test the printing capabilities of the printer, we know the Wi-Fi is showing green. We have our Lexmark, uh, our Linksys uh, router. Uh, already connected to the Lexmark printer. I'm going to go ahead and close the window and close everything again and reboot the system. Remember too that when we were installing the software onto the computer, we had disabled the antivirus program. What we want to do is we want to, when we reboot, re-enable any um, antivirus uh, program that you have, you do have a secure wireless network, so you really don't have to worry about your antivirus interfering at this point. Once the software installation is done, we reboot the computer, now, and then we turn, activate our antivirus program, uh, we should be good to go with wireless internet uh, 
connections. You would have to do this Lexmark installation for each PC that you want to use this wireless printer for. And, uh, and all you would have to do is establish the web to the wireless network and you can print from your, from your PC anywhere around the house. As we're waiting for Windows to boot up again, having reactivated my um, antivirus program, we are now ready to open up a Word document and actually try to print to a printer. But before I do so, I would like to go into the control panel of the, uh, of the Vista to see, in, a, in actual fact, if the printer is present on the PC and it is in fact the default printer. You go to the start menu and hit control panel. I'm looking at the control panel from the classic view, alphabetical order, looking for printers. Here's the printer icon. Let's double click on that and see if the Lexmark is there. The Lexmark printer is there. It is green to go. It is ready. And we are ready to print with the Lexmark printer. Here we have a, a untitled document. I typed in the words, hello world, very c cliche ish. Uh, let me go ahead and, uh, if, you, if, ta if you've taken programming, and hit print. And here we go, the Lexmark series uh, 6500, and let me go ahead and print one copy. Printing started. Very nice, it's talking to you again. And it did print. Printing complete. Hello world. Well, we hope you found this uh, demonstration helpful. And I hope that it will help you overcome any apprehensions you may have in using wireless printing. Technology moves every three years. And um, it is always important to learn about the new things. Um, tinker around. Kick around with the new stuff. Don't be left behind or get caught behind the power curve. This video, production, this video was produced by CinemaXJapan.com in cooperation with the Military Sales and Service Company and the Army Air Force Exchange Service. Its intent is to provide demonstration training to encourage the customers to use and apply wireless technologies. Thank you very much and uh, uh, please enjoy um, wire, the world of wireless printing. Thank you.